What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today's video is brought to you guys by PowerDirector. We actually went over some of the features that PowerDirector has in a video last year. I don't know if you guys remember that, but nonetheless, I'll link it below. With that said, they have an updated version this year with a bunch of brand new features. Now, if you guys don't know PowerDirector, they have over 180 million satisfied users, 180 awards, and they've been around for 21 years designing a bunch of different types of software. But for today, we're gonna take a look at PowerDirector 17 and actually have it right here and I'll show you guys all the different features in action in just a second. First of all, we have PowerDirector 17 right here. When you launch it, it looks like this and you can actually choose your aspect ratio that you are editing in. So if you're editing for Instagram, use 9 by 16. If you're editing for maybe YouTube or widescreen, you want to use 4 by or uh, if you're editing for YouTube, I suggest you use 4x3. And if you're editing for widescreen, use 16x9. We're gonna stick with 16x9 today, and I actually got you guys some epic drone footage that we're actually gonna be using. So, right here, you have a few options. We have our storyboard mode, a slideshow creator, a 360 editor, auto mode, and of course, a timeline mode. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with auto mode. And this is probably my favorite mode because it does all the work for you. So if you're someone who's new to editing or a little scared of how to edit and whatnot, then this is probably an awesome way to do things. So I'm simply gonna hit import and I'm gonna find a bunch of drone footage and we're gonna try to import that and see what this does. So here of course is my drone footage. It is of a castle and I'm gonna edit maybe four of these clips. We'll edit the rest in a second when I go and manually edit. And next off we're gonna hit uh, style and this will, let's go with action. This looks pretty cool. And we're gonna preview this real quick while it creates and edits everything for me. Let's see what it comes out with. Alrighty then, so it created a full on video. I'm gonna hit play and let's see what it has. So of course it added in a full on title as well, audio as well, and this looks about ready to potentially post on YouTube. So of course, something like this would probably take me a good 10 minutes or so to go and edit out. However, for all you amateur editors out there, or maybe even people who have never edited anything before, this may actually take a good few days or even weeks in some cases. So you know, this thing just saved you who knows how long because it took literally 60 seconds for the software to whip out a full-on video with effects and animations and everything. How cool is that? And if you don't like the style, you can actually go back to the style and tweak everything out. So of course this is fully ready to render, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and show you the full-on editor now. Let's see what we can do when we take this into manual mode. So now I'm actually gonna go ahead and use the same drone footage, but I'm gonna use it in timeline mode. So let's see what this thing gives me. So we have a full on editing window here and if you need any tutorials, there's a small little bubble that pops up on your top right and you can actually go ahead onto their website and they have dozens upon dozens of tutorials from everything in terms of templates to mockups to everything you can imagine. There's also plenty of great tutorials on YouTube and I'm not gonna give you guys a full on tutorial, that's not really my idea, but I will go ahead and tell you what this thing is capable of. So on our left, we got ourselves our media room. So let's go ahead and add some media. Look at all this epic drone footage I have. I'm simply gonna take that and place it directly into here uh, let's go ahead and import some high definition footage and there you go okay so all of this needs color correcting it needs editing it needs to be chopped up let's see what we could do simply drag something onto the timeline everything seems very smooth now well, what else can I do? Well, we have effects right here and you can actually add those to your favorites, but you know, there's some abstract ones, there's emboss, there's filter color, fog, magic star, and of course, wind, wave, there's dozens upon dozens of filters. So if I take one of these, you know, we have a little bit of footage right here and I'm simply gonna have, let's, let's, what, what's something dramatic I could do? I think this might look nice in terms of an oil painting. So I'm simply gonna hit this and now let's play it back and see what this looks like. Alrighty then, so that is oil painting. You know, it's not really interesting enough. So I'm thinking let's add another one. We want to make this look like an old movie. So, oh wow, look at that. So of course, now we got ourselves this epic effect. I'm not going to say that this looks great. You know, we're just playing around right now. However, you can go ahead and undo real quick and play around with maybe sepia will look better. So of course that's sepia. And let's see what else I could do. Maybe I want to turn this into... Uh, black and white. I think this one will look the best. And there you go. We have black and white footage. Next off, there's a few video overlays. These are really useful if you're making a presentation video or a YouTube tutorial or making an intro or something like this could totally turn into an intro. So if you want to place this right here, um, you can go ahead and play this real quick. And I can actually take this and I can place it on top slightly. And we're gonna, let's say crossfade. 
And now if I play it, it should fade directly into my drone footage. How cool does that look? So of course we got the beginning of a video right here and there's a bunch you can download. Mine doesn't really have much in here, but you got everything from parks to, we got tire tracks apparently. So if you're doing a racing video or something of those sorts, then this is pretty awesome. Next off, we got ourselves the particles. This is actually brand new. So if you wanna add particles onto your footage, you know, I think it's time we go ahead and add in a few more clips. So I'm simply gonna take maybe the first bunch right here and let's see if I can drag this right here and we're gonna take this this is one of my favorite shots place that right here and we're gonna take one last shot and we're gonna place it right here so of course here's a really epic looking shot okay that looks a little bad so I'm actually gonna trim that slightly right there so it starts over here and yeah that looks pretty epic so Back to what I was doing. Now what could we do with these new particles? So what if I wanna add fireworks? I'm not saying you should, but what if I want to do that and I wanna crossfade that in again? Well, in this case, it would look something like this. Let's go ahead and do this. So there you go, it's a cool little, very minimal transition in case, you know, you have text overlaid on this. So this is a lyric video or something of those sorts. And they have a bunch, so you can actually go and download more. But for now, that's just a rough idea of what that might potentially look like. How cool is that? So next off, we can actually have all these different types of titles. So as I just mentioned, maybe we're making a lyric video here. What actually can we go ahead and do? Everything is fully animated, nothing you have to animate on your own. So of course, uh, this doesn't look too nice not for this video at least this this one looks very simple you know this matches the vibe of our video so i'm actually going to drag that onto this clip over here and i'm just going to insert that and let's see i want to actually no i didn't want to chop that like that so we're going to undo and i'm going to go ahead and try that one more time and just like usual we're going to crossfade that in but I wanna actually adjust the actual title. So what can I do? All you have to do is click on it. And in this case, we want to change it to smart tech drones, cause why not? And you can also change the text down here as well by smart tech. And just like that, we have this pretty awesome transition that could be the end or beginning of our clip. So what exactly will it look like? I'm gonna go ahead and play it. And there you go, it fades out really, really nicely. Next off, of course, we got ourselves our transition room. So right here we have four clips and you know, we have a slight problem. Our four clips don't exactly look, you know, they're kind of all over the place. They're kind of next to each other. They don't have transitions between them. So let's make them a little bit closer and we're actually gonna take these clips and we're gonna add some transitions in here. So what exactly here looks pretty interesting? Okay, this glass looks absolutely ridiculous. So I'm gonna place that right there. Let's see what it looks like. Play that video real quick. Wow, all of a sudden the video looks 10 times better. Next off, of course, now of course I'm doing the most dramatic effects possible in the quickest amount of time. <laughs> so this isn't gonna be one professional video, but it is a pretty cool fun video you might post on social media. So this looks fun as well. And let's play that back. Awesome. And that transitions directly into my title. How cool is that? Which will eventually transition into my drone overarching outwards. Well, nice transition should do it for this epic video. So I'm going to simply drag these two just a little bit closer and we're going to choose what looks absolutely epic. Uh, this looks pretty insane. So we're going to take that and chop it onto here. And once again, this thing should now fall into a bajillion different pieces and of course there's my other effect we added 10 seconds ago how cool is that now as you can see everything really is drag and drop you're not animating everything you're not tweaking anything there's no complex settings you just drag and drop certain things you play it back and see what you like and you're set to go so if you want to add music which i'm not going to do right now but if you want to add music you can control all that directly from here but if you want to add a voiceover you can do that from here as well however right now i am recording a voiceover which is why you're seeing this go up and down next off of course there is an option for uh, chapter thumbnails as well so you know if you're making yourself a little family movie or something of those sorts you can add those in and last but not least we have subtitles as well now this i'm definitely not going to do right now that sounds very tedious but if you want subtitles in your video feel free to go ahead and do that as well but my favorite thing is that they give you some footage to play with so you're not messing with your own footage right at the beginning and everything really does seem to be more or less drag and drop and you know cut a little bit here and there and chop it up and drag all and 
just like that, you got yourself a full on video like I do. All you have to do now is render this out and you should be set to go. Now to render the video, you simply hit produce. And of course I got myself this epic drone video right now. So I'm simply gonna hit produce and look at all these awesome options they have. Uh, AVI, I highly suggest guys, please don't do AVI. You're gonna end up with a massive file. What you want is H.264, great. And then mess with the settings just a little bit. Hit start and you'll have a full-fledged video in no time. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. So leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Here's, of course, a quick look at my rendered out video. So remember the black and white we put on here. And then, of course, we got ourselves this epic shot, the glass transition. And uh, here's my friend running up this castle. Um, there's, of course, a smart tech drone we put in there. And last but not least, that is, of course, my closing shot. How cool is that? Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.